For those of you that are new to this channel, welcome guys. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. And thank you for your continued support. So, as always, uh, the reading that I'm going to be doing here today is going to be a general tarot spread. And what this means is it may not necessarily resonate for everyone watching. In that case, please just take what resonates with you, leave aside what doesn't. Or perhaps you would like a personal reading with me. To do so, please feel free to connect. I am going to list my email address for you all at the bottom of the video here where the show more section is, along with the different types of readings that I offer. And you'll find that a personal reading is going to resonate with you more closely as it is personal. The spread that I'm doing here is intended for Scorpio Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Let's take a look at the messages the cards hold for you. When it comes to matters of the heart, love and romance. Okay, what's coming in for you, Scorpio? Hmm, Page of Pentacles, the Star, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Wands. Oh, buddy. A younger lover, from what I can see, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Someone who I feel like is a lot younger than yourself. They could possibly be a little less experienced in relationships. But I'm getting a sense that someone who is uh, a lot younger than yourself is showing a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of interest here. Okay, They seem to be extremely attracted to you here. With the Page of Pentacles, this is someone possibly who is still, um, I feel like this person is either someone you go to, uh, you attend some sort of educational institute, a, a, un, a uni, an academy, some sort of college, or whether you guys do some sort of classes or courses together. Yes, it could be online as well, or you may not necessarily be studying together. Maybe they're a student, they're studying something, possibly finance or um Studying anything really. There's, I feel like there's a lot to work with with this person. I know they're younger than you, and I know for some of you that may be a little bit, the age gap may be a little bit off-putting, Scorpio. But I feel like there's uh, there's potential. This connection here holds potential. This is someone who is very, with the Eight of Wands and the Page of Wands. They're very infatuated with you, so much so that this is someone who's really in awe of you, okay? There is this instant attraction that they felt when they first met you. So for some of you, if you feel like, you know, this doesn't resonate, it's likely that this person is still to come. It's likely that you're still, you know, in the process of attracting this energy, and it's likely that you'll be meeting this person in the future. Uh, someone very younger, a lot younger, someone very optimistic. They've got a great sense of energy about them, um... A little bit of a flighty nature, I have to say. Someone who's very, either they're like very adventurous and very free spirited, um, or they're just, they could suffer from um, ADHD as well. Someone who I feel like just can't sit still, you know. Uh, they're always doing something. Um, uh, very adventurous, could be quite athletic too, as well, a sports lover, okay. Now, with the star card, I do get a sense that this person is either, um, it's like, they place you on a pedestal or they are going to place you on a the pedestal. They're really in awe of you. Um, they f they're very infatuated with you. They're almost, they feel really grateful to have you in, your, in their lives. They feel like you're a blessing. Um, and it's almost like they get a sense that you're a little bit out of their league, Scorpio, or that you're a little too good for them, that they're punching above their weight, so to speak, with you. Okay, um, but very keen here. Because you do have the pages, I feel like this person is also very attracted to how you look, okay? Sometimes it is often said that the pages are, you know, uh, it's likely that they may not necessarily be um, invested in the connection, rather they just, um, you know, admire you for their looks. In this case, I feel like it's a little different because I do feel like this is someone who's very, um, they want to invest in the potential of this connection, okay? Because you do have the Page of Pentacles. Look at him. This, this is someone who's very curious. So I get a sense that this is a, uh, a new type of energy. This is someone who doesn't know very much about you, okay? And they want to uh, learn more. They like what they see and um, they want to get to know you better. Scorpio, they're going to be very persistent here, okay? This person doesn't take no for an answer. Um, they're going to do, they're definitely going to do some chasing here. But it's something that they enjoy here, okay? It, it's 
it's thrilling to them with the eight of wands here. There's going to be a lot of communication. This is someone who's going to come on very strong. They've got a nice air of confidence about them. They're, um, they're very sure of themselves, which I feel like is going to be very attractive to you. Again, although you may have your doubts or your reservations about this connection, especially that this person is younger, they've definitely got um, they've definitely got charisma, stamina here. They've got a way about them that I feel like you're um, you're going to give in. You're going to give in and actually give them a chance here. This is someone who's going to be very forward. Okay, some of I feel like there's going. Communication for some of you could start online or it could start like texting. Um, you'll find that the two of you are just going to click. Okay, you're just going to jelly. There's a lot you guys will be, there's a lot you have in common and there's a lot that you have to talk about here. I feel like you share similar passions and interests and uh, that's going to be, for them, they're going to use that as a way in. And this is why I have a feeling for a lot of you, this is someone who you study with or someone who studies a, a a feel that you're very interested by okay so it's going to happen quickly though it's going to happen it's going to unravel very quickly so much so that it feels like oh my gosh how did we get here okay um, this person is really going to like tunnel vision in on you okay this is someone who who knows what they want and they're going to go after it so you'll find that this person is going to bombard you with a lot of communication good morning texts good night messages they're going to check in with you throughout the day they're even going to to send you two or three texts in a row if you want that responsive. They want your attention, okay? Because they understand that you may have other admirers around you, okay? And um, they want to stand out from their competition here, okay? With the Page of Wands, this is someone who is adventurous, very free-spirited, and you'll find that they're coming in with something, okay? Yes, they're going to come on come in like come on very strong but they're also coming in with some very bold and daring communication like they could just come out and tell you just how attracted they are to you um, they could be very forward and ask you out they could already start making um, plans or start talking about the future and not necessarily in a creepy way like uh, I don't think it's going to scare you off I just feel like this this person definitely has a way with words they've got They've got a great uh, charismatic energy to them, honestly, that I feel like is really going to entice you here. I also feel like this person could be from a different uh, cultural background here. Someone uh, someone from, they were born, I get a sense that they were born from a country where it's really hot, almost desert-like. Could be Aussie, uh, could be someone from the Middle East, could be from like the, uh, the tropics, South America. Somewhere where it's really hot, uh, I feel like they're, um, yeah, they have origins there here, or some sort of ties or connections there. Very strong attraction here, Scorpio. The attraction is going to be almost instant here. Okay. Someone is going to be very, this person is, this energy, this connection here, there's a, a great sense of excitement attached to this connection, honestly. And even though some of you, I feel like, are going to be... Um, you're not going to be totally convinced that this could work because, you know, this person is younger or this person is inexperienced or, you know, there's a large age gap and you think it could never work. But I don't want you to discount or di to dismiss the potential of what this connection has because... Age is just a number at the end of the day, and honestly, this person is keen as a bean, so give them a chance. You never know, they may pleasantly surprise you. Yeah, they could be younger, but I feel like, uh, you know, you will have that opportunity to grow. They will have the opportunity to grow with you here, okay? Um, so yeah, don't discount this. Don't discount this for what it could be, because I feel like it could be something very promising, Okay? And even if it happens or unravels very quickly, just go with it. Honestly, just go with it. Don't hit the brakes because I feel like I feel like this has a nice flowing energy to this connection. It really does. Okay, guys, so that's your spread for the week. So as always, thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. For those of you that do want a reading, feel free to connect with me. Um, I will list my email address just below the video here. Otherwise, take care, guys. I'll catch up with you next week.